Boswellia serrata, which uh, I hope I'm pronouncing correctly, is um, is a herb or a herb type supplement that you can find in the gum resin of a tree, some tree bark. Now, um, it's it's been around for a long time in Ayurvedic medicine, which uh, if you if you don't know what that is, that's basically traditional Indian medicine, and um, it's extracted from trees in its resin form. Uh, what's really interesting about Boswellia is uh, if you if you've read the Bible, there's a lot of did you knows about Boswellia, by the way. So they're coming up. So if you've read the Bible, then you probably know that when uh, Christ was supposedly born, uh, three wise men came bringing frankincense, myrrh, and gold. Well, frankincense is in fact the parent herb species of the Boswellia family. So that would be Boswellia would be frankincense, and Boswellia serrata, sort of subspecies of that. So we're dealing with frankincense here, basically. And uh, apparently, some of the biblical uh, fellows were correct in thinking that it was a medicine because it's used, been used as one in Ayurveda for for a long time I don't even want to guess how many hundreds of years um, as a basic kind of health tonic now uh, what modern science is sort of opening up with Boswellia aka frankincense I still can't get over that is that it may have lots, lots of sort of more specific health benefits uh, one being um, sort of anti-inflammatory uh, tonic for which might help people with osteoarthritis or any kind of other sort of inflammationary disease, uh, pain, pain in joints and 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 connected tissue, that kind of thing. Uh, it might even help asthma sufferers from you know, as a treatment. The 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 way in which that works isn't entirely known yet, I don't think. But uh, the main and the, possibly the most important one for a lot of people will be it's seemingly seeming ability to prevent cancer from spreading and even in 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 the, in the minimal studies that have been uh, carried out so far it might even prevent some types of tumor forming completely so uh, there's this tree gum resin stuff that's been used for for many many years in in traditional indian medicine and it might be a sort of promising cure for cancer anyway seems like a very good idea to supplement it if uh, you have any sort of prehistory in your family of cancer uh, if you've got any sort of osteoarthritis issues or pain management issues with joints and stuff or if you've got asthma um, there's other benefits too it might even help skin quality if it's applied as a topical cream so there's no end to this uh, this stuff's uh, capabilities and uh, here's another uh, fun fact is the, the myrrh that I mentioned in uh, in earlier which uh, was another featured <laughs> supplement that Jesus received in the Bible it's called uh, it's actually called Comifora mirror and um, it seems to be synergistic with frankincense it's uh, which makes sense excuse the pun there uh, from the fact that they brought it to to Christ together, so we'll have to obviously do more studies on frankincense and myrrh together, or uh, and possibly even add some gold in there. Who knows what's hap what will happen there? But uh, it's cancer curing or cancer prevention, cancer thera therapeutic properties are very very exciting. So uh, take a look at the article on Boswellia Serrata. Can't pronounce that very well. Thanks very much.